Hey Aquarius and welcome to your weekly love tarot readings. These messages here are intended for Aquarius Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and to those cross-watching. They are general messages so please be mindful of that. If you are interested in a personalized tarot reading with me, please feel free to reach out. I will provide my email address just below the video here in the show more section. Okay, so the reading key is going to center on their biggest regrets here. So we're going to go ahead, give the cards a shuffle and get right into it. So what are their biggest regrets? King of Wands here. Okay. Their biggest regrets here is keeping things surface level with you here. The biggest regrets here is this person comes off as a little bit arrogant, a little bit cocky here. Um, there was a lot of showmanship here with their energy. They regret not taking things seriously. Um, for some of you, this is someone who kept things really casual with you, like a casual arrangement or a no strings um, attached type of situation. Um, their biggest regret is that the two of you didn't, well, one of their regrets here is that the two of you didn't get to know one another on a more personal, intimate level. This is someone whom you felt or who has felt a very strong attraction towards you. Um, unfortunately, this person feels as though it never manifested into anything more here. Mm -hmm. This is someone who feels or who felt as though the two of you had so much. It was insane because you have so much similar interests, passions. Um, there's so much in common. It's almost like you were finishing off each other's sentences. Um, this person, like you were so similar to them. You just got them. You, you understood them. You understood where they were coming from. And they just understood you. They felt very comfortable here. For some of you, this is someone whom you are very close friends with. And they regret not taking a chance on this. They regret not telling you how they felt or how they feel to this day still emotionally. Because they're scared that they, you know, your friendship might be jeopardized if things don't work out. They're scared that... If they, you know, if they open up and tell you how it is that they truly feel for you emotionally, that if it doesn't work out, that they'll forever lose you as a friend. So this person has, they have feelings for you, or they did have very strong feelings for you, but they never stepped up and they never opened up and told you exactly what, you know, what they felt for you here. Okay, the hangman here. This is someone who I feel like was waiting for the right time, okay? And that perhaps is one of their biggest regrets. It's like they were waiting for the right time to tell you what they truly felt for you, how they were in love with you, or they had how they felt, you know, um, very strongly for you. Um, or they were waiting for the right time to uh, connect with you, or they were waiting for you to respond, or they were waiting for you to, you know, initiate... Uh, conversation and make the plans it seems that they were always waiting and unfortunately it something about you know the ship leaving the harbor like something about this being a little bit too, a little bit too little like a little too, a little too late that's what I'm trying to say um, this person still thinks about you they still think about you here and they think about you're not with this person Aquarius this person is not with you. I feel like some of you are maybe in a relationship or in a connection with someone else, or they may be in a connection with someone else, but this person still thinks about you and what could have happened had they told you how they felt or, you know, had the two of you gone on to pursue each other romantically. So they regret waiting. They regret spending their time waiting for you or spending their time waiting for, you know, the right moment, the right um, circumstance to let you know how they truly feel the right time to make a move they, they waited too long and unfortunately the time just passed them by here yeah you've got the um, six of cups here this person still misses you you have I feel like you you might not have, you might not have known this person for very long but during that time you've developed some sort of strong connection with this person whether it's an emotional connection or whether it's a um, just a bond or a con you know a connection of some sort that really binds the two of you together. Um, for some of you, this is a childhood sweetheart. This is an ex. For others of you, this is like a summer fling. Um, you know, uh, as I've mentioned, like a casual arrangement. Someone who had they had feelings for you, but they never acted on their feelings. Okay, and they regret not acting on their feelings. They regret not. They miss you, but they regret not telling you any earlier because I feel like it's maybe too late. 
for some reason the notion of too late keeps coming up here okay the five of swords um they still have bitter feelings here though i feel like this person is still brooding or they have resentment or there's some sort of jealousy here maybe you've ended up with someone else or maybe they're in a relationship with someone else or something here things didn't work out for you the two of you this person still feels like they're a little bit bitter here they could be jealous they could be possessive here um, they feel like the person that you're with now for those of you that are in a relationship or in connection they feel like the person that you're with now isn't who you were supposed to end up with wow mm -hmm. they wish that it was them instead they wish that they were the ones texting you holding you loving you hugging you they wish it was them yeah they've missed their chance they've missed the opportunity and that's their biggest regret is missing this opportunity with you they've walked away though aquarius right it feels like it was this individual that walked away uh, they regret doing that they regret leaving a little too early too soon they regret leaving or walking out like they did they regret not telling you because they've they've either turned their back on you here or they've walked away and they've pulled away from you here Yeah, they regret not communicating here. There was some sort of conflict here. Something was going on between... I don't know if it was the conflict was between you and this person. Or between this person and a connecting energy here around them. But there was some sort of conflict here that I feel like almost got in the way of your connection. I don't know if there was something someone said that, you know, they should... Um, like someone he might have been not necessarily bad mouthing but someone might have said something to influence their actions here maybe they said that the two of you would never work or maybe they said that you know you're out of their league here something someone said i feel like has influenced this person's um decision to pull away and they regret listening to that person whoever that person is i feel like this they may have maybe they may still be in their life and as a result this resentment or this bitterness that I'm picking up is maybe towards them. They feel angry, you know, they feel an anger or a bitterness towards this person. Or they feel angry at themselves for listening and allowing this person to influence their opinion or their actions. The hermit. Okay. They've kept it to themselves though. They've kept it to themselves. They never truly told you how they felt. They never truly opened up to you here. They never truly giving you an insight into what was going on with them emotionally and internally here. They didn't really tell them. They weren't telling their uh, family or friends about you. You're a secret that they hold on to. They regret being so closed off with you. They regret not telling you, you know, not being a little bit more open-minded. They regret not telling you how they truly felt. They went there was something here that caused them to pull back and caused them to withdraw here. I don't feel like it was entirely their decision. I feel like it was influenced by someone else's energy or it was influenced by something else here. It might have been, they might have been going through some sort of conflict through some, you know, sit, challenging situation as a result. You know, they, um, they got a little bit distracted here and they might have ghost, went ghost mode on you, went hermit mode on you. They regret not speaking to you and not telling you what was really, you know, up with them or what was really going on. They regret going hermit mode or ghost mode on you. Um, they can't bring themselves. For some reason, they can't bring themselves to reach out. I don't know why. But it's funny because I feel like it's only during this time, all this time that they had to think, think about you and, you know, during all this time apart and, you know, um, not being with you here, that they've come to this realization, that they've come to this emotional awakening and to this realization that this could have been something so much more than it was and it probably should have been. But they didn't know it then. They didn't know just how much of a missed opportunity or a missed chance this would become for them. Okay, guys, and that's all I have for you. Thank you for watching and listening. Please show your support by subscribing to this channel, liking, sharing, and commenting. Um, I will be sharing with you more tarot love readings later in the week, so do stay tuned. Thank you guys again. Bye for now.